Hello YouTubers and fellow Square Enix fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan and today we're doing our Let's Play Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last video we uh, got a lot of collectibles in Sadex and we winded up in this longhouse in this little town where we met Basim and this guy who I didn't get it to uh, his name yet. Guthrum, Guthrum that's him. Soma talked often of you and your conquests. They are all one in my memory. A single great battle that stretches from my first breath to the end of this sentence. It sounds glorious. A living Valhalla. Perhaps it does. But what happens when all the dead wear the same face and their pleas become a senseless blair? Where did Toshin die? On a field or in a marsh? We were close as brothers once, yet I don't recall where or when. You wear the scars of battle, and not only on your skin. The needle of loss becomes blunt once you have been pierced enough. But enough of that. <laughs> that looked weird. He was fast forwarding like tripping. What news do you have? Fulke remains at Porchester, just as we suspected. And as of three days ago, Sigurd was with her, alive. That is the best news we could hope for. And how are you? I am well. And keen to see my old friend again. You'll be glad to see you, I'm sure. All right, let's look around who gathered in the longhouse. That's what I wanted to do in the last video as well. But we were short on time, so I decided to do it now. Let's see. Okay, I don't recognize these guys. There's two guys here. Who are you? Broder, yeah. Giant steaming bowl of piss. <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. I remember him. Brother. The two brothers the of the sister he married. It's uh, good to see you, Eivor. The guy who oh, stop hooked on me. Like a heartsick kitten. He's been moping since the wedding. There'll be time later to reminisce. <laughs> yeah. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. I remember them. Who we got here? Stowe. Ah, London. Reef. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. <laughs> Those are the reefs, the sheriffs of London. That's about the only interesting characters. Maybe there's more outside. There's a lot of these hey, greenish on. dots, so... I want to check out the rest. Who else gathered? Okay, this guy's not talkable with. Neither are these. Quite a few soldiers we have here. It's the biggest group I've seen so far. Allied group, at least. Two more, and there's a lot more underway. A group of three here. There's one here. There's two guys here. Doesn't seem like I can talk with any of these. So the only ones worth noticeable are the ones inside the longhouse. There's a lone guy here. What are you doing? Taking a piss or something? Alright, that's it. So we only met a few of the ones we recognize. Brother and Broder. And um two of the sheriffs, Stoe and the Norse guy, I forgot his name. And then uh Jarl Gunthral. That's actually the leader of uh one of the first areas we went into, we uh, encountered her, Lieutenant Soma. That's actually his, her Jarl. I think that was Grant of Bridgeshire. I think it was... Uh, not Oxenfordshire? Yeah, I think it was Grant of Bridgeshire, but I'm not sure. Could have also been Oxen of... Uh, no, Grant of Bridge and... Where's the other one? Leicester Sire. Nah, I think it was Granter Bridge Sire, almost certain. It's been a while. 
few, uh, maybe a hundred hours ago. Not sure how many hours I've been recording so far. Probably about 80 or so, or 90. Alright. Well, yeah, exactly. You don't have to tell me what this is. This is like an arena. Excuse me. I had a hiccup there. So it's me. Okay, this has got to be a legendary animal. And I was right. It seems we've been recording for 88 or 89 hours. Come on, little cow. He doesn't even face from my arrows. This seems to be a good one on these legendary animals. There we go. Ow. This guy doesn't seem to be that aggressive, to be honest. Get like a double hit on this, guys. If I stay, I was gonna say, if I stay near the back of him, he might not be able to damage me. There we go. Ooh, they went into a rampage. Come on, let me go. Die, Fasruda. to hit on these guys. There we go. I killed one. Where'd the big guy go? I can't, is it that one? Can't even see him anymore. They have quite a bit of HP. Honestly, I don't know where the big cows went to. He's there. He's bugged. Come on. Not done with you yet. Dude, really. How many hits can I get in him? Three? Four? Alright, this seems a bit sad actually. I'm trying to unblo- Get loose. Well, this guy was kind of easy. I would have probably killed him without him being bugged. Okay. Can you. You know, I could actually go outside. And try to un re reset him, but oh well. It's not my problem, he's bugged. Let me use my flaming sword. Which one was that? This one? No. That's an explosive arrow. Well, I unbugged him. Wow. 
go. Come on. Straight at me. There we go. This guy's as good as dead anyway. Finish him. That's one of the legendary animals. We got two skill points there. Alfred's battle kettle hat. All right, Codex. Gunthar, Gunthrum here. Gunthrum was one of the most prominent leaders of the Great Heathen Army. After taking land in Mercia and Numfrumbria, Gunthrum turned his ambitions to Wessex, where he became King Alfred's most persistent enemy. A skillful tactician as well as a fearsome warrior in his own right, Gunfram exemplified the hit-and-run guerrilla warfare mentality of the invaders, which allowed them to win so many early victories against the slower, more disorganized Anglo-Saxon feared. Through a combination of politicking, ransom and surprise attacks, Gunfram kept his enemies divided while bit by bit he conquered their lands. Nice. Lots of runes. Again, I should probably take some time to reorganize my runes. We got a lot of these. We got the head of the proof of victory over Alfred's battle cattle. Bring it to a tanner. All right, and then we got some schematics or cosmetics for our boat. We got some miscellaneous random loot items. We could probably sell the vendor. And I got a treasure hoard. Let's also spend some skill points. We got two. We got light damage, we got way of the bear. Battle power of 296. What else do we got in here? Got one collectible, one uncollectible there. And then no small collectibles here. We got one here. <clears throat> and then we can do a raid here actually. I like raids. So first get the small treasure that's right here. That, that cow was kind of easy. I mean, even when he, uh, even without him being trapped, I could have easily killed him. I actually summoned Chewy, and Chewy was able to get him out. Or was that Chewy? I actually don't know. That's not Chewy, I think. Oh wait, that is Chewy. Yeah, it was. I was thinking like we uh, freed a wolf. He was white, so that's definitely Chewy that we called in. Where's the chest? It's up there. Can I climb over? Yep. I'm thinking maybe I'd have to shoot these things first. Straw or wooden things. Got lots of leather and iron now for a small treasure. Like 80 of them. Somewhere between 75 and 90. Let's fast travel here. The wolf is right next to it. Doesn't mean it's just there for the grabs. Could be on a uh, on an enemy. You just have to kill him. Those are the most uh, easy ones. Just kill the enemy, and you get it. Oh yeah, this is the one where I jump down. Like, oh, that's not what I intended. Didn't mean to drop that far down. Loads and loads of fish in here. Not just a little, no, I mean massive amounts of fish. Look at it. Alright, so the fact that I've eaten two, three of these explosive plants, it's no coincidence. Do we need a chi? A, chi, a, chi, a key? What's a chi? Well, I know what chi is, but how can I use that to open the chest? Where is the key? That's what I wanted to say, not where is the chi. There's something coming from there. Let's explore that as well. Seems to be a lot of these objects you can jump on. Uh, 
That's a massive bridge. There's actually a few more collectibles out there. There's the, uh, the Finn man with his skis. Even though the description said particularly he's not holding skis. Well, he's definitely holding skis, I'm telling you. <laughs> that or he's walking on stilts. Okay, so we've got some collectibles up here. Right there, I already see it. It's a tattoo design. It's like the perfect place for one of those uh, challenges, I suppose. Drop down. You can do it. The reason why? Well, I saw this winch. It should put me right up to it. There we go. That's what I mean. I think that was better than the alternative. Come on, Aver. Go faster. No. Let go. Let... the winch quickly. Might still be there. It's still there, but not sure if I'll be able to make it when it... Ooh, I don't think I have much time left, to be honest. Alright, that brings us up right to the city. Um, and I don't want to do that, actually. What I'll do is I'll move right, and then after that, I will... Call my longship and take the boat down the river. In for a lot of pain. That thing was a lot higher than I thought. Look at it. Is that the aqueducts? The Roman build? Looked like it. Such a shame, really, that... I mean, these Romans were so highly advanced back in their day that they built these magnificent buildings... But then, when the Romans got conquered or beaten back, no one was had their skill of craftsmanship, so all these buildings just started deteriorating, or people didn't really care, but... Imagine if they maintained all of that, how the world would have looked back then. I've seen a few in my, in my life, in real life, I mean, I've been to, uh, to Italy quite a few times. Including Verona, which is the place where uh, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet plays from. There's that balcony I've seen. I've seen the Colosseums in Verona. I'm always really amazed by how well it looks. Eat Fly Agaric. Well, you can tell me a lot of stuff, but there's no Fly Agaric here. So I've seen some Roman culture. Castles, etc. Defeat the enemy. Alright, there's a lot of them. Let me try this. Come on. Damn. Fus Roda. Doesn't seem a particularly st strong enemy. Jotunheim Shapeshifter. Alright. Well, I'm burying all of your attacks. Get wrecked. Nope, nope, nope. You suck, boy. Back to a bear, huh? He's about to kill you. There's probably another one right there. He's dead. Ooh, damn. I love that one. <coughs> well, I'm eating strange hallucinating um, mushrooms, so I don't think those were real Jotunheim. That was easy, actually. I love how I executed that big Jotun. 
Those weapons are kind of cool. Glaives. Too bad they don't have a weapon like that in this game. Probably one of my favorite weapons, like a Naginata or a Glaive. Spears are not the same for me. Needs to be like a massive... Uh, I think the Chinese also have a sword like that. I'm not sure what it's called, the Chinese version of it. More troll magic. I mean all of this. I'm not even checking what it is. Oh, what's happening to Aver? Oh. Okay, 8-1, that was not very good. Probably that black... something. Black needle anger. That thing will kill you. Snap to it. Let's see. Those are good to eat. Those are good to eat. Those are good to eat. That's good to eat. That one as well. That one as well. That one as well. That one as well. Ah, oh, Fulna. I think there was only one. Smells like a trap. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll throw my torch in there. Catch! Get out of here quickly. Lifted the troll magic. Climb, Aver. Climb. You can do it. Should really watch what I'm eating. I'm just pressing triangle all the time, but <clears throat> I would never try to eat something that's literally on the floor near one of those black troll magic things. Ever, she doesn't care. Alright, well, I'm gonna do what I said. I'm gonna make my way towards the river. I'm calling my longship. Longboat? Why do I keep calling it longship? What is it? It is long. No, I keep calling it longboat, but it's actually a longship. I said it right for once. What are these? Why is there a guy here? Just chilling. Yo, got anything yet? You got a few there. <laughs> Imagine me uh, just taking off with this basket of fish. Alright, guys. Alright, Mr. Fisherman. Be amazed. Yep. It's the reindeer boat. Hi guys, missed me? Um, I think we have to do a, yeah, a turn around. Turn, heave, 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 heave. Full speed ahead, open the sail. The mast looks kind of cool as well with the reindeer. Imagine that. See, imagine how this would have looked like in real history. Like there's a Viking boat just sailing through England, one of the canals, which is this, the River Thames, Medewagwe River. The Thames is this one, isn't it? It is. Imagine, you're just walking up there and all of a sudden you see this viking bow full of strong, burly, bearded people. There's the skiing man. Wasn't there an item on the skiing man? That might have been the troll magic we already picked up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look onto your right side, you will see the man with skis in his hand. People argue if it's actually skis, but I'm telling you it's skis, so it's skis. Got a new fast travel here. 
one of those scouts. Don't really care about him right now. Just pretend I didn't see him. Let's raid this little town. Imagine this town. It had the aqueduct right to it. So it would have had a really good source of water. Let's raid this joint. Shoot at me, please. Please shoot at me. Shoot. Shoot, come on. I want to turn the arrow. There we go. I love that counter. Alright, let's start uh, tracking some of these collectibles. One here. A lot of, uh. A lot of, what do you call them? Raw material wealth. Come on, this is how you take care of them. Come on. Fight me. Nope. Nope. We got parry stance. Nice. GG, boy. This guy's ruining me. I'm gonna shoot you in your leg. You are officially dead. He was gonna drink a potion. I think he was gonna heal. Alright, need a second person to batter down this door. Who's gonna help me? Uh, a player. A player um, viking, which I don't know who's. Need more help? Come here a moment. Who's gonna help me? Some treasure here. Where are you again? Another player, Viking. Get me the raw materials, nice. That's probably another 20. I think it's always 20. I could be wrong though. Well, actually, it doesn't show me any numbers right now. A lot of soldiers here again. Nope. These guys are probably easier to... Actually, there was also a way to execute these with the bow. How hard is it? Come on, I lost all my arrows. Let me try it. Really? This guy keeps dodging. It's pretty good. I hate these guys. They're super annoying. Well. There we go. I'm gonna smack you with your own sword. Smack. 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 Boom. There. You stay in that puddle. Can we force open this door? No. Alright, let's force open this door, guy guys. Couldn't see a triangle. Aver and Finner. Lots of people in here, she's Don't kill the people. Let me push this crate open. She's also a, a great sword dual wheeler. She's using the same sword it seems. Or from the looks, they look the same. I actually decided to switch out with two weapons. On my Storm Vikinger, that is. Uh, lots and lots of collectibles left here in this place. Let's see. Can we get up there? There's a winch over there. Actually, I don't need that winch right now. Archer guy probably hasn't seen me yet. Can I assassinate him? Come on. Uh, I think I know what's going on. It's one of those bugs. There's probably something there. Just looks like it's not 
It's actually a tent. Just to come if this is missing. Give me some of these arrows. You there. Get wrecked. That was weird. I just leaped forward all of a sudden. Come on then. I'm gonna kill all of you. Ooh. That's the first time I see that one. That one's nasty. He's dead. Oh, that's the banner. Yeah, I knew. You, sir, are one of the most annoying enemies I know. Always cowering behind your shield. Well, I can do this. Get wrecked. I don't have anything to shatter his shield with. Come on everyone, attack this dude. They're just standing there. There we go. I lost one crew member over there. Well, you'll be okay. I hate it. The th that flail thing is sometimes hard to read because he's swinging it, but it doesn't look like he's attacking yet. Then when you run in, he's already attacking because he's swinging it. Okay, I can go in there. Let's go in here for a sec. Help me force this thing open. Anyone? Give me a hand with this. There we go. A few enemies in here. I like that troll. I like the swirling axe and then straight into his head. Alright, there's a little bit of thing here. There's a ladder. Help me push this. Thing open. Alright, some more materials. I don't think it's the end of the raid yet. No, it's not. You guys are free to rate whatever you want. One wealth over there. Is that the one I'm looking for? No, I'm looking for the small wealth first. Oh, good shot. That guy's quick. Dude. Guy's on LSD or something. I'll get inside this burning house. There we go. Question is, do I want to go inside a burning house? Why not? Oh, the door is also open. Or the, not the door, the window. Alright. I can't help. I can't stand that little exclamation mark there. I gotta save him. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Is it? Is that Rolo? Come on, Rolo. What are you doing on the floor? There we go. You go to sleep, sir. Another ally down. How many of these people are there still in there? I mean, who are they fighting against? Yes. Well, whatever you're saying. Quiet down. I'm trying to focus here. I'm trying to loot this place. Got a Roman artifact over there. All the way on top of this thing. 
Just laying there. There's some small treasure here, I think. Oh, that's a massive jump. Thanks to the roll, hardly any damage at all. Right, so... Saying it's in there. Question, how do we get in there? There's no doors. It's attached to this thing, though. Let's check the roof, quickly. Can I maybe... Is there a window? No, this all barred. Maybe there's something from the top. Nope, this is closed as well. Alright. Then... There's only one way we can go in here, I guess. We have to enter this big building first. Then we could make our way through the insides, I suppose. Alright, gotta help out my friend here first. Where did we bash the door in, by the way? Was it this one? Enemies? No enemies. Oh. You... Yeah, I know. But I don't want you to open that one. Oh, well, let's just do it anyway. I thought he was wounded. He's just waiting for me, or she's waiting for me to open his chest. It's already a bit confused there. I'm like... Are there still any enemies here? How'd you get down? I just got there. Well, that's it, guys. Hell, uh, Mr. Helheim. I want to go this way, though. Because my last treasure is here. Uh, look at how many monks there are. Get out of the way, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like how I said help me out here all of a sudden there's like three or four monks rushing at me we're gonna help oh this is a sacred ritual loot is loot gold is gold I think that's all the collectibles for northeast Sussex looks like it we did that drinking game pretty sure so now we can go Southeast, the last bid, I suppose. Right, guys, return to the longboat. Or I can just teleport there, I suppose. I keep forgetting that wherever your longboat is, it's an instant travel. The blacksmith in your settlement is the only one capable of enhancing the quality of your weapons. Make sure he doesn't die. No, something like that, I don't know. Is there a rating somewhere nearby? Nope. Oh, this was intentional. Start with these two first. Don't think there's that much more left in Sussex, except for the main quest, which I'm kind of looking forward to. It's been a while since we did the main, main quest. It might sound a bit weird, but what I was saying is like, some of these areas, you don't actually need to do them for the main, main quest. There's, it's still a quest, but it's like, uh, they're actually the main quest of a side quest. Like, those areas are optional. Even though they have, like, a, a semi-long main quest. But the, the real main quest, that's actually here. We haven't, we've been, po been postponing this for, like, three areas. We did Finland. We did, uh, Essex. And another one, which I forgot. I'm getting slaughtered here. Let me try this. Get wrecked. Ooh, these guys are no joke. Come on then, Mr. Parry man. You like to parry, don't you? Dude, that guy could dodge my arrows. He's from the Matrix. 
He did it before the Matrix was cool. Right, so we see how we can get in there. You see a door there? Okay, this is not going to work. Sorry guys, I don't really feel like spending time on you. There's a door here, which is open. It's a crate there. Ooh, ooh, this guy is almost killing me. He was very close to killing me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like, hmm, how am I going to go down there? Never mind. It's usually the same thing over and over, but sometimes they change things just a little bit around to confuse you. Let me loot this. Oh, we got another uh, sea chain here. Which got uh, how do you say it? The chest gave away its position. Right, look this chest. Got an opal here. The belt. Wait. I just unveiled someone. I don't think he's in here, is he? Order. The bell. Can we find overseeing the graveyard? Bur no, okay, he's not here. We just found something, this one. At the chain blockade. See, that's why I like to uh, preferably pick up these things. So you can get information about the uh, order. Order of the Ancients. Alright, we got one here. We got one all the way over there. Also gotta keep a watch out on that this guy. Z lot. My rations are pretty okay, my arrows are okay. So if we do encounter him, I think we'll have a good chance of beating him. Come on, horse. Actually, which is the first one I wanted to do? Okay, this one. <clears throat> Just pretty far away. Definitely give the uh, uh, the order of the zealot of the ancient order a, a good go. I don't want any loose ends anymore. We're at level three hundred almost. We're two ninety eight. Stun and melee resistance. There we go. Two ninety eight. That means we're about 140 power over recommended for this area. And because I'm doing most of it by uh, level pot level order, uh, we're not facing many difficulties. I know, judging from the uh, rarity of the trophies, some areas are... Uh, how do I say it? If you check, some of these trophies are less rare. That means more people have completed that specific area. Even though that area is higher level than some of the lower areas. Like for example, uh, I'm not sure if it's a trophy, but let me say Jorvik is level 190. More people did Jorvik than for example, um, Essex, which is like 160. That means Essex is not part of the main quest and people just prefer to do the main quest instead of exploring. If that makes sense, I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to explain it. All right, I like this one. Just have to. They put that crate intentionally there, so you just have enough range to be able to snipe out the lock. Always check those ladders. 
Um, all right. Also, keep an eye on that guy. I might decide to take him out first because he's the only collectible that um, would like to run around. <clears throat> I mean, some wealths are running around, but only like a few meters away from their initial position. The Zealot, however, doesn't. He can walk quite a bit of distance. <clears throat> we have six rations, ten arrows. So I did lose some arrows in that little camp there. But I don't think it's anything of real consequence. his horn blast that means he's very close <clears throat> override I challenge you Rolf wait you're not moving really could have gotten a cheap shot out of you pretty wild X swing you got there mate That is no. There we go. Do some massive stun damage there. How do you feel now? Big guy. Stop throwing shit at me, will ya? Fight me like a real giant. You're pretty weak, you know that, right? Really weak. One of the weakest I've fought so far. What is your power level anyway? You are absolutely terrible. This is probably the easiest one I've killed so far. Let me check his power level before I finish him off. 280? This guy's 280? Enemies panic upon seeing Hrothgar's shiny plate approaching. It takes particular joy in the sound of crunching bones skulls. Best of all, the oil employs Hrothgar for any test requiring brutality. You are the highest level, yet you are the weakest of them all. <clears throat> it seems I got a, a treasure again. Zealot eliminated, Hrothgar. Note found on a member, order clue, Medoin and a knight's tablet. Order, so that's one le one more guy down. The oil, so we found this, guy, uh, this note. And that's it for now. Still have Wufa and Oscar. Who's Oscar again? I think that's one of the guys we had a lot of trouble with before. Where's the rest of the Z uh, Zealots? There's one there. That's Bufa. Those scars here. Alright. Well, let's continue with our collectibles. One, two, three, something like that. Which one is the closest one? That one. <clears throat> Problem is, guys, I know you can just see the member, uh, the meters on top of the screen, but I can't because of my recording. And I tried to find a way to move that little recording bar that's in the, like, dead center. You guys can't see it, but 
If you see those two blue uh, compass thingies on the top, it's like right there. Right on above them. Or in between them, actually. And it prevents me sometimes from seeing stuff in the game. I will. I am gonna try and get a game capture in the future. But I have no experience with that yet, so that's another thing I need to learn from my recording. A stone stern, a stone cairn stacking. I like these. I hoped I would find you here. You seem well. Your wounds have healed quickly. They're getting harder I heard though. My father talking to the others. He said you were his child now, so. So that makes me your brother. You are welcome to this family. Now we will grow together and feast together and scamper over the snows together. I hope that pleases you. Pleases me. What is it you are building now? Two homes or a hill in the mountain? This is my father, Varian. And this is Shotvit the Cruel. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what happened? There. Doesn't. Lean on me. <clears throat> I will lead you home. Got some. I got two rocks left, but this was a rock as well. All right, then validate it. I like the stacking on that one actually. It's pretty long as well, pretty tall. What if I stand next to it? Okay, not that tall apparently. Looks a lot taller when it was zoomed in. Thought it might even outtower me, but it was also a pretty, pretty big-sized woman, lacking length. Not in she's fat or anything. No, she's just very tall. I wonder if male and female Avar have the same size and physique. I wonder. So the gamers don't have to develop like two sets of armor. Like they could just wear the same one because they're the same size. Okay, we got a Roman artifact here. We wouldn't really want to swim in this green looking water. Alright, so we got a grate here. Oh, there's an entrance there. Is it? No, it's not. Could have sworn that was an entrance. Truth be told, I don't think I can punch through this, can I? Thought for sure there was something there. Alright, I can just blow this up, I suppose. If I had the stamina. Which I don't. So are there any fire jars outside here? There's something there, something enemy. Maybe I can get some uh, adrenaline from killing this. Oh, there's fire jars here. That was not enough to fill up my adrenaline. <clears throat> Did, however, lure me to these jars. Which will do the work just the same. Just need to find a way to get in there, that's all. No, you can't jump very high, but this should be doable. There we go. Can I just place it? I can. I'd rather do that and then shoot it. If I miss it, I'd have to go back and grab another one. Smelly water again. Get the artifact. Alright. Really close to getting all the collectibles. Uh, I have about five minutes left, so definitely in the next video it will be a mixture between me collecting stuff and starting the main quest. 
Because we have here. Where's the... Uh, okay, so there's nothing here. So we've got this area, this area, this area, and some there. Alright. So definitely doable, I think, to start the main quest next video. Unless we run into some really annoying or hard or buggy side quests. Collectibles, mysteries, whatever. It's usually the mysteries that are a bit buggy, the world events. Let me just start this mystery quickly. See what we're up against. Oh, okay, I, I can do this one. I can just end the video halfway with doing this. I like these anomalies. And we glitch. Yep. Alrighty, looks interesting. It's a, How are you holding up? It's a big okay, slide. These anomalies feel second nature now. These guys froze. Double identity syndrome, occipital shock signs. Hey, you trying to freak me out? Oh. My God, just let me work. Oh. She doesn't steer well when you're sliding down. Made it. Okay, so there's a beam being focused on that thing, it seems. We can climb it now, but we have to rotate the beam afterwards. There we go, there's the beam. I no longer need it now, so... I'm gonna focus that one on... That one, I suppose. Jump back across. Ah, this one... Okay. Could just jump over that thing entirely, it seems. That one was quite hard, actually, because it was moving. I didn't even see that one. I mean, I didn't see it move. I saw the thing, obviously. This one's interesting, actually. How far are we? Might be able to complete it in time, but I don't think so. To save myself some time, I will do the outro now, while we're climbing down. Actually, nah. I won't be able to make it. I'll just uh, end the video right before the timer is up. Because, Especially because I'm rushing now. Could have just waited here. Go, 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 go. Nope. It's easier, actually, if I do my screen like this. There we go. Hmm. Seems like it's a very small time window to get through there. There we go. Guess running was better. Alright. Just gonna slide down this one. And I'll end my video here, guys. This is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fair. I thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, you'd like to help me out, please consider subscribing to it. Also, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be updated with regular content about me playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla and any other future PS5 games. If you have any tips, suggestions or comments, leave them down below and I'll try to reply to you as soon as I can. This is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan, and I thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Till then.